Well, Alex, that's right. One sheriff's official has lost her job and others are facing disciplinary action. Now, this afternoon, the sheriff spent a good amount of time talking about how the media has it out for him, especially the L.A. Times. This is all about throwing everything possible at my campaign. I mean, this is everything about the kitchen sink. L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva is accusing the L.A. Times of lying and constantly targeting him unfairly. It's troubling that people will actually conceal the truth or try to harm this administration or, or impugn the character of the sheriff's department, but we do not do cover-ups. But a cover-up is exactly what the sheriff's department is investigating. Regarding this video that was exposed by the L.A. Times, it happened on March 10th, 2021. Here you see inmate Enzo Escalante at the San Fernando Courthouse punching a deputy. He is restrained and then Deputy Douglas Johnson kneels on his head for three minutes. Internal records discovered by the Times reveal sheriff's officials were concerned with the optics because the action was too similar to the George Floyd use of force. To avoid public scrutiny, the department did not file criminal charges against the inmate for punching the deputy. Many people, including senior executives of my administration, saw this. And what concerns me is they, they actually saw the information and they did not hit the, the stop button, say, hey, we have to take a look at this in a different light, in the right light, and do both a criminal and administrative investigation. Sheriff Villanueva says the Times accused him of knowing about this incident when he actually didn't learn of it until roughly eight months later. As soon as I saw that, I said, this needs to be uh, referred for a criminal case and the personnel need to be relieved of duty. We expect our deputy sheriffs to held to a higher standard. LASD sources confirmed to Fox 11 News that Assistant Sheriff Robin Limon, seen here in this news conference, is out. And other high-ranking sheriff's officials are facing possible demotion. The people involved are near and dear to me and, and uh, work with them a long time. But uh, at the end of the day, we have to hold everyone accountable to the rule of law. As for the LA Times, the paper issued a statement that says, quote, the sheriff's claims are false and the Times stands by its reporting, unquote. I want to send a clear, loud message to everybody up and down the chain of command across the entire organization. We expect every single person to do their job the way it's, it's, it's supposed to be done. Sheriff Villanueva says the LA Times knew about that video a long time ago, but chose to release it now, he says, intentionally to hurt his campaign. I'm Gina Silva, Fox 11 News.